And the Desiree News reports the American man killed in the London terror attack is being remembered for his musical talents. 54-year-old Kurt Cochran was visiting London with his wife Melissa to celebrate their 25th wedding anniversary. The Utah couple was on Westminster Bridge when the attack happened. Melissa is still in the hospital this morning. A British woman and a police officer were also killed. A fourth victim, 75-year-old Leslie Rhodes, died later at the hospital. Jonathan Vigliotti is on Westminster Bridge. Jonathan, good morning. Good morning. The Cochranes were on the last day of what they described to their friends as their dream vacation when they became one of the first victims. They were walking here on the sidewalk when they were struck by that car. Melissa was thrown here, her body cushioned by a souvenir stand. Her husband, Kurt, was thrown over the bridge. He fell more than 20 feet below. This photo shows Melissa Cochran just moments after Wednesday's attack on London's Westminster Bridge. Amazingly, her sister says she survived with a broken leg, rib, and cut on her head. Melissa and her husband, Kurt, were celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary and stopped in the UK to visit Melissa's parents, who are Mormon missionaries. Kurt was killed in the attack. He's just one of those guys, I mean, you just know you want him to be your friend within five minutes. And uh, we've been... Friends and neighbors near their Utah home describe the 54-year-old as a passionate musician. He and his wife ran a recording studio. He just had that touch, and I'm just going to cherish what I got to record with him. On Twitter, President Trump offered condolences and called Cochran a great American. 43-year-old British resident Aisha Freyd was also killed. She was reportedly on her way to pick her children up from school. On Thursday, officers at Scotland Yard laid flowers for 48-year-old Keith Palmer, the policeman who died after being stabbed while patrolling Parliament. He was remembered as a loving husband and father. 50 people from at least 11 countries were injured as the attacker's car sped across Westminster Bridge, knocking a woman into the icy River Thames. I had literally no time to get out of the way. 26-year-old Francisco Lopez had just finished work when the car hit him, cutting his hands and legs. I tried to defend myself as I could, uh, so I just put my arms forward and, you know, the car just tumbled me over and that was it, basically. And he's lucky to be alive. In all, 31 people taken to the hospital were told to remain in critical condition. Anthony. Jonathan Vigliotti in London. Thank you, Jonathan.